The G3000 is our latest evolution in our integrated flight deck targeted at um, uh, turbine aircraft customers. Uh, the G3000's sole or main purpose is that it's intuitive, it's simple to operate, and it's very powerful. What we're doing is we're presenting a new way for the pilot to interface with the aircraft, with the aircraft systems, with the controls, and with the information that they see. The user interface is new, very unique. Um, it allows the pilot rapid access to any piece of information that they need, and they can control all sorts of different uh, aircraft systems with that, uh, the new user interface. Uh, in addition, we've created a new way to present the information with larger screens, with wide aspect ratio uh, displays. So our whole goal with the G3000 is to create one, more glass for the turbine pilots to view, and two, a simple user face that's easily accessible to everyone uh, to learn in a shorter period of time, and more importantly, to get all the information they need as soon as possible. We've taken a long, hard look at figuring out the appropriate way to integrate touchscreen technology. Touchscreen in itself is impressive. Most people who are pilots and who like Garmin equipment are kind of gadget people, and they love neat things. They love kind of technology and gadgets and stuff like that. So is touchscreen impressive? Absolutely. What's amazing about the touchscreen and what we're doing with it is how we allow people to get access to information. We've had, we've done human factor studies. We have a large team that works on creating the appropriate interaction and the appropriate response from the equipment to ensure that the pilots can actually get what they need to when they need to. So if you take a look and you'll be able to look at the, uh, the equipment a little bit, you'll see that our touchscreen controller has places for your hands to firmly grip it. So you can grip it firmly and actually anchor your arm, anchor your, your hand, and actually get to the button you want to. Now, to answer the question, which is, mm, if, if some people are like, well, touch screen, I'm still, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about that. You have all the controls you would normally have. So if you insist on changing your comm or your nav via a concentric knob, it's still on there. So we've made sure that in kind of moving forward to this new technology, we're not leaving people behind. If you want to kind of adapt and use this technology going forward, you can. If you still feel more comfortable, say, using those knobs to change your comms, you can still do that as well. But what I think you'll find, and what we found after we've spent a lot of time on it, and developing it and flying it, is you'll see that you'll, you'll steeply get up this curve, which is, hey, this is kind of neat. And then you'll find yourself rapidly getting to the information that you need. And it's intuitive. On our touchscreen controller, you have something like a home key. So anytime you're anywhere in the menus, you hit home. Very similar to the Garmin kind of methodology of the old days, which is the clear button is kind of your get out of jail free. You hold clear down, and it takes you back to kind of a map or an area you always know you're going to be to. Home is very similar. It'll always anchor you back. Another important feature that we have in here in the G3000 is the back button. As simple as it sounds, we've got a back button now. So every time you go down into a new layer, if you kind of say, man, that wasn't where I wanted to go, you simply tap back, go right back to where you need to be, and go from there. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. The G3000 is truly an integrated flight deck, meaning we have, you'll be able to access synoptics, you'll be able to access weather, you'll be able to access weather radar, you can bring anything up. If you want to interact with the aircraft systems, environmentals, it can all be done through the touchscreen controllers. What's amazing about this way to interact with the machine, both from a, a, a user standpoint, from being a pilot, you have wonderful and rapid access to what you need. From a manufacturer standpoint, they have the ability to customize it in the manner they want. In the old days, you'd make a piece of hardware and let's say there's one button that that particular manufacturer didn't need, well, it'd be a dead button. Now, with everything being expandable via software, if that's some sort of functionality that you don't need, it doesn't show up there. Uh, and so you can have the, everything that's going to be displayed is appropriate and pertinent to both the aircraft and the flight. Where I think this will be compelling to them is once they start realizing how you can interact with the equipment, 
how rapidly, one, you can get information, and two, what's most important to every pilot is how can I make a decision faster? How can I make a better decision, and how can I make that decision faster? When you do those two things, it increases the safety of every flight. So by do, the, you'll see, start to see some things. When we bring up some pages on the touchscreen controllers, you can actually bring up nearest airports. They all have their weather with them, the runways, stuff, uh, information like that, where you can instantly start making decisions to get to where you need to go. Uh, so I believe that uh, people will definitely appreciate the value of the system when they, they look at it and they say, wow, this is genuinely going to help me make better decisions. And, and that's where the value is. Uh, there's a lot of things that is a very impressive displays. The, the displays are much larger than we have in the past. You've got this amazing new interface. But the key here is the pilot vehicle interface. And I believe those pilots, even the ones who are used to doing things the old ways, will get a chance to look at this and they'll say, you know what, that is a pretty amazing way to interact and I think I'll make better decisions by using that. First, we'll uh, talk about the new displays, the GDU 1200 wide aspect ratio display. The 16 by 9 widescreen display is a WXGA resolution. The unique thing or the interesting thing about the G3000 when it comes to this glass is just with the displays alone, we have 25% more viewing area than we had in our, our largest glass version of our G1000 uh, flight deck. If you incorporate the uh, touchscreen controllers, the GTC 570s, as display areas, which they can be used as, you get up to 40% more glass than we had on our prior versions of G1000. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Additional characteristics of the GDU displays, the new GDU uh, 1400 displays, are the LED backlighting, which uh, provides improved dimming abilities, improved cold weather abilities, and improved reliability. Uh, it also, these new wide aspect ratio screens give us an amazing landscape to portray synthetic vision, uh, which as people have kind of grown to come to and uh, adopted in the market, realizing that's a pretty impressive situational awareness tool. We've removed uh, buttons from the bezel. So this is a new clean design. So it'll be soft keys on the bottom to access some information, but on the G3000 you will not see buttons uh, on the bezels. And in addition, the, the G3000 displays will also be able to uh, display uh, video inputs, whether it be enhanced vision, infrared, any of those types of inputs as well. In the G3000, you'll have access to all the flight management functions through the touchscreen controllers. You'll be able to work on uh, flight plans, you'll be able to work on gathering weather, you'll be able to gather any information you need with regards to synoptics, it can, you can bring that up. Uh, an additional feature of the GDU 1400 uh, display is that it has the ability to bring up, to split into two screens and bring up two separate areas to work in. So you can have one giant multifunction display or uh, each individual touch screen controller, meaning the pilot or the co-pilot, can have the ability to bring up what they want on their half the screen. So if the pilot, for instance, would like to bring up uh, a standard arrival, an approach plate on his side, while the co-pilot is still looking at weather, uh, either the weather radar or the weather display on the data link weather, they can do that. Uh, if then the pilot decides, you know what, I think it's time for both of us to look at the chart, then you can press a button and the whole screen uh, turns into uh, a full screen display of the chart. So you have the opportunity to turn into one MFD or break it up into two.